This video's, video is over concepts from geometry, specifically applications of perimeter. First we want to talk about how to find the perimeter. The perimeter P of a polygon is the sum of the lengths of its sides. Perimeter is measured in linear units such as feet, yards, meters, or kilometers. So really, the perimeter of a polygon is simply the sum of the length of the sides. You really just need to add up the lengths of all of the sides of your figure. So let's look at a couple of examples before we go into applications. So here we have um, a couple of examples. We were asked to find the perimeter of a rectangle, a triangle, and a polygon. So here's our rectangle. If you notice, only two of the sides are labeled. But if you remember a rectangle, the opposite sides are congruent. So these two sides are congruent. So this is also going to be 11 feet. And then this side is congruent, or the measure is equal to this side. So this is also going to be 5 feet. So to find the sum of, um, to find the poly, excuse me, the perimeter of this rectangle, we can just add up the measure of this side. So we can add up 11 plus 5 plus 11 plus 5. So it wouldn't matter how many sides our polygon has, we would just add up all of the sides. So 11 plus 5 is 16, plus 11 is 27, plus 5 is 32. So our perimeter is 32 feet. And um, we use feet, linear units, because we're just adding up um, just the lengths of the sides. This is perimeter. Now you also may have seen a formula where perimeter is 2 times the width plus 2 times the length. And if you think about that, that's really what we just did right here. We did 2 times the length and 2 times the width. This is a formula that you can use if we do 2 times the width and then 2 times the length. We will then get the same answer of 32 feet. So now this formula is specifically the perimeter of a rectangle. It's not for every polygon. It's the perimeter of a rectangle because again, the lengths are the same measure and the widths are the same measure. So if we look over here at the triangle, again, to find the perimeter of a polygon, we simply need to add up the lengths of the sides. So we would say two, 7 centimeters plus 7 centimeters plus 3 centimeters. 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 3 gives us 17 centimeters. And lastly, our polygon, again, um, it's not a rectangle. It does have four sides, but it's not a rectangle. Uh, it does not have four right angles. So we simply need to add up the lengths of the sides. So we would add up 9 plus 11. So 9 plus 11 plus 3 plus 13. 9 plus 11 is going to give us 20 plus 3. It's 23 plus 13 is going to give us 30. Six. This is going to be 36 yards, linear units. Now let's look at an application with perimeter. A rectangular field has a, field has a length of 37 yards and a width of 28 yards. Find the per perimeter of the field. I would highly recommend anytime you're looking at an application problem, specifically one that deals with geometry, is that you draw a picture of what you're discussing. So we're told this is a rectangular field, so the sides are, the opposite sides are going to be congruent. So the length is 37 yards, so we know that this is 37 yards, and this is 37 yards. The width is 28 yards, so this is going to be 28 yards and this is also going to be 28 yards. Now to find the perimeter of this field we can simply add up the sides 28 plus 37 plus 28 plus 37 and when we do that we get 130 so that's going to be 130 yards.
That's all this problem is asking for is the perimeter. Now do you remember that you could use your formula 2 times the width, which will be 2 times 28, plus 2 times the length, which would be 2 times 37, and when you do that you will also get 130 yards. One more application problem. We have a rectangular garden that is 56 feet long and excuse, 56 feet long and 32 feet wide. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch off what we have here. Here's our garden. And this is 56 feet long. So this is, since it's, we know it's rectangular, we're told it's rectangular here. 56 feet and 56 feet. And then 32 feet wide. And so if we want to find the perimeter, it's going to be 2 times our width plus 2 times our length or 56 plus 32 plus 56 plus 32 and we do that we get 176 so our our um, garden the around it if we were going to put fencing around it we would need 176 feet of fencing now this problem if you notice please make sure that you always read your problems carefully if you notice it says if fencing costs 650 excuse me six dollars and fifty cents per yard how much will it cost to enclose the garden so at this point this is not our final answer all we've done is find the perimeter so if it's six dollars and fifty cents per yard the first thing we need to do is to convert our feet to yards. So we can do this using dimensional analysis. 176 feet. There are three feet in one yard. And so when we multiply straight across, we get 176 over 3. And so we're going to have 176 three and that's going to be yards. Our feet divide out, cancel, 176 divided by 3 is 58.7 yards and if we multiply that times 58.7 times 650, it's 650 per yard we're going to come up with a price of $381.55. So be sure you read your care questions carefully. Not only did we need to find the perimeter, we needed to convert our perimeter, which was in feet, to yards, and we did this using dimensional analysis. And then we had to find the measure of, we had to ha find out how much it would cost to have 58.7 yards of fencing.